So in a recent video, I included a chart like this in my Final Cut Pro 10 project, and some of you wanted to know how that was done. So we're gonna show you right now. So in Final Cut Pro 10, there are lots of ways to create animated charts. You can use a plugin, but that can be a little expensive depending on the plugin you use. You can use motion, but that can be a little complicated if you don't already know how to use motion. So what I decided to do was to use something that a lot of you already have as Mac users, and that is Keynote. Keynote is generally thought of as a presentation app in the same vein as something like PowerPoint, but as you're gonna learn, it can also be used to create animated charts. So what we're gonna do is create a new presentation, choose a wide theme, since this is gonna be 16 by nine in our video, you wanna click the zoom button and choose fit to window so you can see the full canvas there and then just delete any sort of assets or text that is already pre-populated. Now it's just a matter of dragging in a background image like this, putting it on the canvas and resizing that background image so that it takes up the entire canvas. Now, of course, all of this is optional depending on how you want your chart to look. Now you just click the chart button, click 3D, and then choose one of the available templates here. So I like this one right here. We'll just click and it automatically appears on the canvas. Now it's just a matter of editing the data points. So just click edit chart data. You'll see some pre-populated data there. You can just delete all that data just like this. And I've actually created a numbers spreadsheet containing all of the, the data that I want to include in my chart. So this is based on iPhone megapixel count over the years. So I'll just select all this data here. We'll minimize and we'll go back and we'll just paste it in like that. We'll give the axis a name right here. Just call it megapixels. Pretty simple. All right, so all of our data is there, it looks good. We can just close out the data editor for our chart. All right, so here's our chart. Now we can customize this, of course, to look exactly like we want it to look. I'll change the font color so that it's able to show up there, change it to white. You can rotate the chart because it is a 3D chart. Just like that, you see the shadow there, you can adjust the shadow. You can adjust pretty much any setting for this chart in the inspector. And that's gonna be up to you how you want this thing to look. Lots of different options here. So I'm gonna turn off that shadow and look for some other areas that I can customize. I don't really like those grid lines too much, so I'm gonna go and disable those grid lines here. Select none. And again, it's gonna be up to you how you want your chart to appear. I think we're almost done though. You can, of course, change the, the chart depth. Kinda of like it to be a little flatter, so I'll downsize the depth a little bit. Now you just click the Animate button now, you wanna make sure, you can see here, you don't have the exact options we're looking for, so you wanna make sure that your chart is selected first, and then click where it says add an effect. Now you see the 3D grow effect, and that's the effect that I like to use. I'm gonna adjust the duration to make it a little longer, three seconds, and then I'm gonna change the delivery to cascade, which gives it a more dramatic look. I'll just click preview to view how it's gonna look there, and I really like the look of that. Okay, so we're pretty much done here, folks. Now, there are some additional things I wanna change up, like I wanna change this font to a white so it's easy to show up there. I also wanna add names for both the X and Y axis. So we'll just click where it says axis and then enable axis name. We could do the same thing for the other axis. All right, so now we can just rename iPhone models and we'll name this one Megapixels. And of course we wanna change that font color to a white so it's easy to see there. So I think we're good now, what do you guys think? Do you think we're good? If so, give me a thumbs up. All right, so now it's time to export this thing. So we'll just go up to the file menu in the upper left hand corner, right here, and then choose export to, and then select quick time because we want it to be a video, right? And then just choose 1080p. You can choose custom if you want to, if you want some more advanced options. Click next, give it a name, iPhone megapixels, then click export. Exporting it to my desktop. 
All right, so now let's open up Final Cut Pro 10. There's our project. And I'll just drag that, that new video that we created from Keynote right there on top, just like this. Perfect. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you add your own animated chart to Final Cut Pro 10 using Keynote. I don't think it gets any easier than this. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you appreciated this video, again, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe as well. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.